to find someone who wanted to be as immersive as that, you know, living in the town, eating at the restaurants where the people that we were yes. making a record out at Etta. I mean, I'm sure that, that people making movies or people writing novels do that. But honestly, and you don't really get many people making a, a pop record that want to be as immersive and as intensely intensely creative. We broke into Père Lachaise Cemetery at one in the morning and he climbed on top of Jim Morrison's mausoleum <coughs> to talk to him about the track that we were going to make about Jim Morrison being buried in the cemetery. So he was talking to Jim Morrison in the grave. He said, am I allowed to swear on this TV programme? Yeah. Okay. Um, we broke in and we found our way with the help of uh, the photographer we were working with and a, and a torch to Jim Morrison's mausoleum and he clambered up on top and he says Jim Jim this is Malcolm and Malcolm McLaren here we're doing this record and I'm making references to you and it's about this step and he told me he said I'm fucking petrified here and uh, suddenly about six cats jumped up onto the mausoleum next to him so, so he's a little fellow and he jumps down and he goes we've got to get out it's fucking pitch black in here right? I can't find. and of course I'm a dab hand at finding my way out of places because I <laughs> remembered my way in the photographer by the way had scarpered right left right. off so I said follow me so we found our way out again so yeah I mean that's that's and he said a great thing to me Paris is a very different place to be a pedestrian. And uh, I was in his hands for six months. I would hold on to his arm. And we would get to the edge of the road, and he would just walk. And I could hear cars screeching to a halt to my left and right, hordes blaring, people swearing in France, uh, in, in French. And he'd get to the other side of the road, and I'd go, you ever thought that you might get one or both of us killed, Malcolm? And he said, oh, I learnt ages ago, Robin. You either stand at the side of the road and you wait for the traffic to go past, or you just look at the other side of the road and you just go. And I think that's probably how he lived his life. I think. I think it probably is, yeah. yeah. And we, we came out unscathed, yeah.